When you think of Finland, you might think of cranberries. Cranberries? Not cranberries. When you think of Finland, you might think of Lapland, the northern lights, beautiful forests, lingonberries. But when I think of Finland, I think of granite. Granite is a light-colored igneous rock that cools slowly beneath the surface of the earth. It can take on a variety of different forms, colors, and textures. Not very hard to find granite in these parts, considering probably most of the country is made of granite. There's a bit too much forest, not enough granite. Where are you, granite? But I'm here looking for some very specific granite. Yeah, I'm totally lost. Hmm, which way to go? That way. The granite that I'm looking for is granite whose formation got caught in the act. Granite is formed as rocks deep in the crust melt. And as those rocks melt, they form a liquid that then when it crystallizes is a granite. There's just so much granite, I just, I, I can't even handle it. Everywhere I look, granite. I look here, granite, look there, granite, 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 granite. Do you think I'm taking all this granite for granite? <laughs> Thousands of years ago, the entire country of Finland was covered with glaciers. And as the glaciers flowed over the landscape, it polished down the rocks, leaving behind these beautiful glacial surfaces like the one you see behind me. And it's on these nice glacially polished surfaces where we can see the melting process taking place and the formation of granite. The melting of water is a fairly simple process. You have a single molecule that changes from a solid to a liquid with increasing temperature. But rocks are a little bit more complicated. And when you take a rock and start heating it up, different minerals will melt at different temperatures. And so in the case of this rock, you have the light colored minerals here made of plagioclase and quartz with a little bit of garnet, melts at a much lower temperature. And when the, these minerals start to melt and form granite, it leaves behind these darker minerals. We call this a migmatite or a mixed rock. As the rocks start to melt, the tremendous pressure squeezes out these little pockets of granite melt, and these little stringers of melt coalesce with other stringers, and these pockets of melt get larger and larger until they form large granite dikes and even plutons. Now this isn't the only way granite forms. And these granites that are formed from the melting of sediments are often referred to as S-type granites, the S being for sediment derived. The samples I collected from Finland will allow further characterization of the process of sediment melting through geologic time. After entrusting nearly 50 kilograms of rock to DHL, I figured that no trip to Finland would be complete without seeing the sites in Helsinki. Finland was amazing, with great food, nice people, beautiful forests, and yes, some incredible granite.